Adam. Hi. How you doing? Good. Great. How was the rest of your uh, food thing last time? The sauna cool. food. Yeah? Yeah, it looked interesting. Yeah. Cool. So how's uh, and vacation? And I also, and I also did, and I also played pocket ball. You also played pocket ball. What is pocket ball? It's like you have a white ball and you and you push that ball away with a stick and you hit hit the other ball and the ball just goes into a hole. Okay. Kind of like pool. Do you know pool? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. That's at that sauna place was pocket ball. Yeah. Cool. They have a lot of stuff. And today I went to a swimming pool. Okay. How's that? It was cool because anything that I have to do with swimming is cool. Yeah, swimming is fun. How, um, yeah. Do you know? Do you know? Yeah. How's your swimming abilities? I guess. How long have you been swimming for? Uh, I have, um, this is the very first day of my new swimming class. Great. Well, that's nice. Swimming class, swimming pool. Yeah. That'll be good by the end. Do some do some swims. But there's only laps. one bad thing about there. Oh yeah, what's that? The water is cold. Yeah, that's a big big uh, challenge. What do you do? I guess you can get a wetsuit. Do you know what a wetsuit is? No. Nope. A wetsuit. It's like when scuba divers uh, go down deep into the ocean. They wear a wetsuit that keeps them warm. Oh, so it's like a padding underwater. Yeah, it's special. Here it is. Special material that I don't know exactly what it does, but basically it keeps you warm when you're in very cold. Cool. Water. Yeah. Okay. So swimming classes are fun. Are there how many people are in your class? Seven. Okay. It's good. It's a nice number. Half a dozen or so. How's uh vacation? It's it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. Go eat some nice food, have a swimming class, relax. Um, all right. So, yeah, let's do... Uh, I have an Elon Musk article. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. So, you can uh, begin reading whenever you're, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Every December, Time magazine announces its person of the year. This year, that award goes to the groundbreaking inter... Entrepreneur. Un entrepreneur. Business person, basically. Elon Musk, time and editor, added yep. in chief award. Yep. Edward, uh, I don't know, Fel Felsenthal. Felsenthal explained why. He wrote individual individuals yep. have person of the year. Have had more. Per, he wrote, "Person of the Year is a marker of the influence. Few individuals had more influence than Musk on life on Earth, and potentially life on off Earth too." He added, "In 2021, Musk emerged not as the world world's richest person, but also the perhaps as perhaps the richest." Example of a massive, massive shift to our society. 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 Mr. Musk is worth more, <clears throat> more than two hundred fifty-five billion. He's almost a trillionaire. Yeah, it's wild. Billion dollars. Billion dollars. Yeah. He he is the richest person in history. He is also helping to save our world and our future. He is leading efforts to explore space and get to Mars. The year 2021 was an amazing one for Elon Musk. He went into space, but Elon Musk never went into space. That's yeah. why, that's why there is an asterisk. Yeah, in, very good. Said, there is... Uh, uh, wait. Okay, wait a second. Okay, it says error. Elon Musk has never got gone into space. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a that's a typo, a mistake. Yeah. 
Yeah. In his own rocket. It was made by his company SpaceX. This is a pioneer. Pioneer. Pioneer in space tourism. It it might en enable us to travel to Mars. Mr. Musk is also well known for his car company Tesla. This controls two thirds of the multi billion dollar electric car market. It's valued at around one trillion dollars. Mm. Musk is also an engineer, engineer, in, inventor, and a trailblazer. In many, trailblazer. Trailblazer in many other cutting edge industries. He first made his name by co-founding the e-payments e-payments company PayPal. 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 Today, he is le he is a leading player in robotics, solar technology, cryptocurrency, artificial intelligence, and super speed public transport. Time called him a genius and a vis visionary. Visionary. Yeah, very good. Well done. Great. Only a few words I want to go over. First one. Entrepreneur. 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 Business person. Entrepreneur. Person who starts a business. Entrepreneur. Yeah, very good. Who starts a business. Cool. Uh, can you think of any other entrepreneurs? Uh, Steve Jobs. Do you know him? No. He was. He ran Apple computers for a long time. Oh. He made the iPhone, iPad, all that stuff. Oh. Um, about, next one. What about like Mark Rover? Mark Rover. Mark Rover? Um, Rover it is a YouTuber. And I also already tell, oh, yeah. tell you about. Oh, the one who does the contraptions. NASA and stuff. And he also worked on apples. Okay. So there you go. Maybe they knew each other. Um, I guess. Wait a sec. Is is making YouTube uh is is making it, YouTube that as well? A business? Um, it can be. Some people make money off YouTube. Um, the Mr. Beast this, makes a lot of money off YouTube. Yeah, Mr. Beast is cool. He makes. He's a very very wealthy man. Yeah, and he buys and he buys like million dollar house. Yeah. Yeah. And there's um, also a video about the most expensive house in the world. Oh, really? Yeah. What is that one? He he shows one of the cheapest cheapest house in the world to the richest to the most expensive house in the world. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting and also, idea. Also, the the most cheapest House the in cheapest. the world is worth one dollar. Mm. The cheapest house. Yep. And what about the most expensive? Do you know why house? they sell it for one dollar? Uh, no. Why do they do that? To get rid of it. Yeah, because they don't want it. One dollar, you can have it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it has more problems. You have to fix them. That costs money. All that stuff. And 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 then. It comes to the million dollar house, which has its own arcade inside it. Whoa, that's wild. Is that Mr. Beast's house? No, ah. but he showed us that house. Yeah. Also, let's just skip the other houses because there's so many stuff in there. On to the most expensive house in the world. Mm. It's What's that worth, one? It's worth $35 billion. Whoa, I guess. that's wild. I Where think, is it? I think it's that, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's around there. It's very, very, very expensive, basically. Yeah, and the most and the most insane parts of that house is the car lifter. Mm. He has a car inside his house, and there's six Lam Lambos on it. Mm. That's and wild. And if, and if the owner of the house... Uh, the owner of the house 
can type type which kind of car he wants to drive and the lifter just lifts the car up onto the place that mm. the cars are going to let go and yeah yeah that's 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 incredible what else and more also, could you want it has an own movie theater in it of course. which its TV screen comes out of the back of the pool. Yeah. So you cool. can sit in the chairs like like this. Mm. And you can watch movies. Yeah. Well, that's nice. That'd be a fun little experience. Or you can go swimming and also, watch movies. There is, and there is worth millions of dollars of chandeliers in there. Yeah. I don't know how much of a fan I am because those are you got to be careful around those in case you you don't want to break you know a million dollar chandelier. Yeah. Yeah. And also, one of the chandeliers are worth thirty Is... are worth forty nine million dollars. Whoa! It's a it's basically a giant chandelier too. Hmm. Yeah, made of gold or something <laughs> or diamonds. It's... It's kind of like colored like diamond, but it's, I don't think it's really diamond, but mm. it's colored like diamond anyway, and it's shiny. Cool. Yeah, that's interesting. And, and staircases wraps around that chandelier. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very intricate house. Yeah. And there's an also... And there's also a living room big as a big as an apartment. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Just the living room. You can go running in your living room, have a race in your living room, maybe. There's also a private gym. Okay, that's nice. And also, and also a private bowling alley. Mm. That's fun. And a private plane. Everything private. You got, you got it all. <laughs> all right, let's go over these words again. First one, society. Can you say that one? Society. Next one, pioneer. Pioneer. Pioneer is kind of the first person to do something or invent something. Cool. Yeah, so um, Elon Musk is a pioneer in space travel. He's kind of the first one to make a company that builds rockets that goes to space. Um, Trailblaze. NASA, NASA, NASA is probably the first company, but I don't know. True, they are, but they're a they're a government thing. He's uh, so it's a government. SpaceX is new. Private, yeah, it's owned by Elon Musk and other people. Yeah. It doesn't mean it doesn't have to mean the exact first person, but kind of the you know some of the first people. Private. The opposite of private is public. Exactly. So NASA is a public government agency. SpaceX is a private company. Trailblazer has the same meaning as pioneer, kind of like first person to build rockets for space or to, you know, do space tourism, something like that. So um, let's go. Award or something. Yeah, kind of like the first. Yeah, just the first person to do something. Um, so yeah, what do you, what do you, what do you know about Elon Musk? I know that Elon Musk owns three companies. Oh yeah, what companies? SpaceX, Solar City, and Tesla. Okay, I haven't heard Solar City. What is Solar City about? S solar City is a, all about making solar panels and stuff. Okay, cool. Solar panels. Elon Musk is cool. Yeah. Cool guy. Focused He's on making He's the richest person panels. in history, but he doesn't buy one of those houses on Mr. Beast. Yeah, no. Because kind of house he wants have? to buy expensive house on Mars, not on Earth. Yeah, he wants to build the private private pool and TV on Mars. Yeah. He wants to do anything in Mars. Yeah. Float around in Mars, jump in Mars, vacuum clean in Mars. Yeah, who wants to do it? Vacuum clean in Mars, yeah. Yeah, it would be a lot. Who knows? Maybe he'll do it as his last kind of wish or whatever. Because it's a long, long trip to go to Mars and back. Yeah. Um, who is your person of the year? If you had to choose one person, who do you think it would be? 
Elon Musk. Yeah, good. Um, how has Elon Musk changed people's lives? How has he changed people's lives? Um, uh, I forgot. Yeah, fair enough. What about, what would you do if you were the richest person on earth? What would it be like? Oh, 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 give away some of the money to, to poor peoples like Africans. Oh, that's nice. That would be kind. Yeah, that would be kind. I would give away some of the money to poor people. One time, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast built 100 wells on Africa. Built 100 wells in Africa. Yeah. That video is cool. Mm. We yeah, that sounds use super technological stuff to dig a hole through the earth to a place where where the earth where where water is and connect a tube into the drill and then the water will come up and there will be water everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. And then you can have clean water, you can uh, cook and shower and brush your teeth and all that stuff. Yeah. And, they're also, and they also built the solar panel well. They built a solar panel well. What is that? They use a solar panel on top of the well to put, to put electricity everywhere. Oh, that's nice. One time, you know, one time, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast pulled, put 100 solar panels on Africa. Um, he installed 100 solar panels in Africa. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, that's a good, good thing to do. Um, oof. Should humans go to Mars? What do you think? I think yes, because... Yes. Mars is cool. Mars is cool. Humans should do cool things. Humans should go to Mars. Yeah. But yeah. One time, but one time, a kid said, girls go to Jupiter get, to get more stupider. Oh, whoa. That's Jupiter. A mean, that's a mean thing to say to girls. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mean thing. There's a lot of very, very smart girls as well. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so. But it's also should... a little bit. Funny. Yeah, it's a bit funny. I agree. Yeah. It's like, girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. And that rhymes. Is there a boys one? Yeah, that rhymes. Boys go to Mars. Yeah, I don't. there's not really one that rhymes with boys. I don't know what you would do. Eh. Um, so, humans should go to Mars because it's cool. Any other reasons why they should go to Mars? Will they learn anything? Will they be able to get you know, resources there that they could use on Earth? What are some other benefits? Um, Mars has lots of iron in, so they they could just pick up all of the iron inside Mars and use it to construct super strong buildings made out of iron. Ooh, yeah, that's a good good benefit. Mars has a lot of iron. We could. Yeah, that's why it is red. Mm, red from all the iron. So it, that would be bulletproof. Bulletproof, yeah, bulletproof houses, bulletproof living rooms. Everything bulletproof. So, if a criminal tries to sneak in a house and tries to shoot a gun at a wall, it will just like... Yeah, that's nice. Hey, yeah. what if the walls were made out of Beskar? Beskar, what is Beskar? The thing Mandalorian's armor is made out of. Okay. Yeah, would they be... Very tough. No, so Beskar is a real thing. Oh, yeah? It's a kind of material? Yeah, and it's really strong. Beskar. Star Wars, lightsab even lightsabers can't cut through Beskar. Mandalorian iron. Wow. Looks very, very tough. Durable. Yeah. And also, they're also bulletproof. And it's also harder than steel or other metal. Okay. A lot of benefits with it. Yeah. So it's like, ha! I have a sledgehammer. I'm going to break this wall. Hey, <laughs> is this wall made out of Beskar? I'm going to get a lightsaber. Hey, I can't cut through it. Um, and maybe I'll use uh, a shredder. Yeah. The shredder is all bended and stuff. I'm give up. Yeah, and you just have to give up. 
Yeah, that's a good point. But, but the criminal might sneak in through the windows. Yeah, that's a possibility. You gotta lock hey, the windows. What if they made a glass that... What if they made a glass that is made out of Mandalorian visor? No criminals could get by. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah Mandalorian's visor is really hard. As hard as mm. Spetsgold. So it's like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would be perfect. All right. So you're going to call it, uh, wrap it up a little bit. For next class, ooh, work starts on beaming solar. Cool. Solar energy from space. Let's look at that. Solar uh, energy is cool. Solar energy is cool. I agree. Um, su- uh, Sunday. Hey. <laughs> uh, when Friday. Are they made, when are they going to make a black hole generator? Uh, once they figure out how to not destroy the world by making it. That's a generator that uses the power of a black hole to generate electricity. Yeah, it'd be difficult. All right, we'll continue on... uh... But a black hole is really strong. Mm, I agree. All right, we'll continue on... uh, I gotta gotta get ready for now. If this was light and this was a black hole's gravity, it would be like, I'm escaping. No way. Yeah, it would pull it back. (laughs) Agreed. All right, great. Nice chat with you. I will pick it up on uh, Friday. See you then. Goodbye. Bye-bye.